Hello guys and welcome back to Ether One. It's a bit of an adventure. We restored the first memory in Jean's head, and now we have to go back. And after reviewing some of the other uh, videos, I kind of think I know what to do. Remember, we picked up a key in the pub. We picked up a key that said um, some kind of gate, and um, I think we have to go up the river. This is what Phyllis told us to do. And once we go up the river, remember there was a locked gate up there, and I think that's Possibly, you can see it there actually. The oh, here we go. Here somewhere. Now let us... Let's explore, shall we? Yes, let's explore, Phyllis. Good idea. That's not what I've been doing the entire game already. Well, here we go. It's already open for us. Oh, okay, fantastic. I don't have to open it with a key. Oh shit, can we... Will we die in the water? Like the sea? Oh my. Let's explore indeed. Is there any stuff hidden in the bushes or something? <laughs> Alright, let's go up river, see what this gets us. God, there's people moving furniture upstairs. Jesus Christ, it's loud as shit. Oh my god, if we go all the way up river, I wonder where it brings us. Is that a butterfly? Oh, holy shit. It's a massive place. As the music kicks in. Rusty old tire. Cool. Where are we, Phyllis? What is this place? The Pinwell Industrial. Hmm. Can we go in here? Oh, here we go. The area of the mine that you just entered seems to be outputting a variety of important memories. There also seems to be a strong signal coming from within it that appears to be in line with what we'd expect from the artifact. The item we're after to make you stronger. Well, that's great. I always want to be stronger. With dementia, it's often the patient's short-term memory that begins to falter first. We can use older memories as a seed to help rebuild and validate our patient's life story. The artifact should also help us to avoid another relapse, whilst allowing us to target the amyloid plaques that cause our patient's brain cells to die in the first place. Well, that's interesting. What do we have here? A hammer of sorts. That could come in handy. So what is this thing? Oh. What does this do? It makes a loud inception noise whenever I pull it, or is that just the soundtrack? Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> it does. Boom. See, ins that's the Inception noise machine. Oh god. I keep thinking this game is gonna get freaky. I don't know why. So all this shit is flammable. What's the fuck? Oh, it's fucking arsenic. Oh my god, it's barrels and barrels of arsenic. This is not safe. Arsenic house. Pressure relocation. Huh? Oh god. Uh, the hell's out here? Oh, what was that? Oh god, we gotta restore this projector here. This will be our uh, task. We wanna restore as many projectors as possible. So... I'm guessing we have to... Uh, put fuel in that thing and turn it on. Pressure control terminal 200... 200, 200, uh, what? Okay. It's a shame, but none of this is gonna last. What do you mean, Jean? I'm gonna restore your memories, don't worry. So, 100, 100, 300, 200. Okay. What happens when we... Okay, 100, we need to turn these, that's 300, so 100, 100, 300, 200, 200, that's the thing. So we need to find some kind of uh, coal to load into the fires, right? That's what I'm guessing I have to do. Again, all this is just speculation. What is this? Can we turn these on? <laughs> oh, here we go, holy shit. Um... Ah, we need a code. 
Damn it. All right, we need to find a code for that as well. Anything over here? Is it like a satchel? No. All right, fair enough. I wonder what this thing does, to be honest. I have no idea. What is this? What in the world is this? Is that a torchlight? Um, let's keep hold of this, shall we? Let's put this on, like, the useful counter. And we'll pick the hammer back up. Alright. I don't think there was anything back here that was... Okay, this place. Oh, this is just the outside bit. I wonder if I'm hand-painted too. What do you mean, Jean? What the hell is that thing? What is this? Anyway, she saw it fall from the town square, her ears ringing after the deafening blow. The victory shaft swayed and began to fall like a pack of cards brushed by a breeze. Thick black smoke erupted into the air. She told me that at the moment fear had swelled like a balloon in her chest. The victory shaft had fallen and a great accident had occurred in the mine. She feared we were both dead for a brief moment, but I was not there. It would take her years to overcome this. We had to leave. T. Fletcher. Awesome. So that's the thing that caused the mine to collapse, was it? That's what he's talking about? Oof. Freaky music! No, don't turn back. What? What do you mean? There's ribbons everywhere. I need to go get them. Well, there's a ribbon there, there's a ribbon here. Just bear with me, Jean. This one's a 312. What does that do? Makes an inception noise as well. Alright. Wash bed sheets today. <laughs> okay. We need to find some coal. There's coal everywhere to shove in the thing, right? Pick mail up from floor, open mail, sort mail into important, blah blah blah. Okay, it's, it's all very useless information to me. There was a ribbon here. Here we go. by now. I know, I know, I should take some of the responsibility, but I have given you every resource imaginable to complete this restoration. Just remember that all of this funding is lost if you don't do your job effectively and find that artifact. God, man, you gotta stop blaming me for shit, Phyllis. We're in this together. We're a team, you understand? Well, what the fuck is all this? It's the same shit, right? Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Ah, there's different stuff we have to remember. The ore tramming pressure, the mill management pressure. All this is really slightly overwhelming. Can we jump over this? There's nothing up there anyway. Man, the music is really taking me a large back. bundle of postcards just laying in a pile on the front porch. Right. This is called a victory shaft. Apparently it could be seen for miles around and controlled the central operation to the industrial area. Each of the four work pillars were pivotal in Pinwell's economic success, and all of them, working to full capacity, was required to create a sustainable export operation. Yeah, but what do they what do they do? What do they do, Phyllis? I don't know what they do. You gotta help me out there. So, again, I know what to do, but I don't know how to do it. It seems to be the basic uh, gist of it. Give this me. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared by this game. But I'm also very curious as to what it has. You think it's for. safe? So tall. It is, isn't it? It's very tall. Look at these chimneys. My, my. Um, right then, let's get a move on, shall we? There is stuff to explore, places to be, like, like, this way, this way, this way, J4. Mm, this place is lovely, though, I gotta say. Oh, was that a ribbon I saw? Wow, it was. Look at that. The most beautifully painted sunset. All those greens and browns. Just amazing. Where? I want to see the sunset. 
no sunset. It's still up. Okay, here we go. It seems that the patient is getting a little agitated. Not to worry, though. They always get worse before they get better. <laughs> With that said, I have been warned about, well, pushing these experiments too far. But I feel like I can trust you. You will keep this just between us. Wow. Phyllis is starting to take on a kind of uh, very strange kind of persona. I need to get over there. I remember coming home one sunny afternoon after I'd been attending school to find an odd shaped parcel on the living room table. My father had recently stopped working at the mine and my mother had unfortunately left us. Both for a reason that I never truly knew. I think he wanted me to know that he still loved me regardless of his situation. My father came downstairs smiling, his eyes a little lost and told me to sit down. He pushed a present towards me and began to open it. Inside was a tin Davies lamp, all cleaned up and ready for use. It had been my father's from when he had worked in Devon. It meant everything to me. Well, that's nice, Thomas. You got a gift from your father, which is a lamp. Probably the lamps that help you see down in the mines. Yeah. Can we enter this house? I'm sure there's things that I have yet to explore down here, for example. Uh, I'm really sorry for asking, but I thought I'd left them there. Uh, left them where? Oh, hello. What do we have here? Oh, what is this? A book. Oh, entry 7 out of 10. I must admit I've been quite nervous and shy whilst attending various groups and therapy sessions. I prefer to focus on what task I've been given and rarely speak with others in the group. Up until now, I think this has been because I feel that I'm different to them in some way. Yet today, we had a new patient come into the group named Mark. He was a similar age to me, around 65, and had been diagnosed with dementia. He was a photographer like my son and spent a lot of his time discussing the work that he had done. I liked him a lot and it was nice to connect with someone who was as passionate about art as I. Painter's journal. Okay. Is that... So that's not Gene. So here we are, mill management. I'm guessing there's stairs that lead me up to this ribbon. How am I gonna get over there? Whoa, hello? At least you don't have to go all the way up there. Up where? Up there, Gene? I reckon I do. What the fuck is this? Okay, here we go. There's more pressure. Ah, oh, shit, I should've... You know this game, it tells you that you need a pen and paper. Or you need a really fucking good memory. So remember back there, uh, they showed the thing? I need to adjust it here, the pressure control. For the mill this is the mill management so we'll probably come back and do that later i'll probably maybe fast forward it what the hell happened here guys three years i've placed three whole years of my life into this research i have sacrificed so much patients with these specific symptoms of dementia and at this stage don't come along often and to be told that after three years of hard work and waiting that I have only nine days to yield the results that they want. Who the hell do they think they are? It's not my fault. I can only work with the restorers I'm given. So, sounds like she's actually had restorers before. Well, this door is locked. What do we have here? Anything? Doesn't look like it. Shortcut! Just kidding. So, oh, what is this thing? Words echoed oh. around the polished wooden room. Sixteen years old. You know what that means. Uh, what? What was that, Gene? What the fuck is... <gasps> I'm so confused. What does that do? Oh my god. What? Try that again. There we go. Uh, what 
I, I seem to have done something. I don't know what I've done. I've connected this to that, which seems to control the doors, maybe? Maybe I gotta do it with the other side as well. That looks like a broken light. There we go. It fell from above. What are these things? They don't concern me. Alright, looks like I have to adjust the other door as well. Maybe that happens when I turn on the power, actually. That's probably what it is. So I want to go find out what the, the codes were for this place. <sighs> kind of frustrating, I guess. I also don't know what the, um... What the actual thing... I think I see where this is going. Shit, down here? Oh god, where are we, Gene? Okay, there's so many buttons and stuff. Man, working in these mines must be a hard ass job. What's beyond here? Oh, there's so many places to go. Oh shit, this is where I came from. Okay, this is where I came from, no problem. I haven't, however, been in here. Or down here, rather. There is a ribbon I spy over there somewhere. Up there, rather. Oh, can we get it? Oh yeah, we did it. Nice. You know, in the last three years of experimentation, I've worked with some very good restorers. Yet, none of them had the heart or the mind to get as far as you. I hope that you succeed where the others have failed. Our chances of continued funding rely on this. You won't let me down now, will you? Uh, I fucking hope not. This... this... These things are scaring me, however. God, it's the ore tramming one. We need to uh, go and remember it. I'll try and remember it, or should I just get a piece of paper? There's another ribbon over here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty lost. This is the miner's dry. Oh shit, can we take this? I saw, um, didn't I see a ribbon? Am I freaking out? Oh, there, yeah, there is. Can I grab it from here? I guess not, I gotta go around. Uh, excuse me. Miner's helmet? Uh, I doubt I need that, right? Or maybe I do. I have a small hammer with me. I don't know what I can do with that. Oliver J. Oh, here we go. The air in here deceives me. I can taste the acrid, sour molecules on the tip of my tongue. No one else notices, but I do. How can I taste something that's famous for being invisible to our senses? I don't know, but I taste the arsenic as thick as cream mingled with the air in here. Not enough rags to cover our faces and not enough masks to share the miners below. I grimace with every breath I take and fear wells up inside of me still. Me and the other girls need to get this shipment done soon, otherwise we'll have Oliver and Aaron panicking. Oh shit. One four eight seven, huh? What the hell? Oh. It's just a book. Mm, it smells damp and horrible. Man, there's all these bloody blockers that are locked. Ah. Hello, Ribbon. How are you doing? Did I ever tell you about an old colleague who once worked on a series of classified experiments? They deprived subjects of sleep in an isolated room for three days, before instructing them to carry out a harmful act on another subject. Desperate for the sleep they were promised, they would instinctively carry out any command ordered by a lab coat, regardless of how immoral the action was. Funding was cut due to controversy, but still, don't you just think the human mind is fascinating? It is. It's kind of like that experiment where they, uh, they uh, attach someone to an electric shock machine and then get someone to shock them every time they get a thing wrong, but they're not actually shocking them, but they're just faking their thing. And if the white coat tells someone to keep shocking the guy, they keep doing it just because it's uh, somewhere from power. Miners do not, under any circumstances, use the washroom facilities in the miners drying and blah blah blah. Please use bathroom mix the canteen if you wish to wash. 
It's the warden's office over there. Jesus, this place is huge. Oh, goodness. What is this? Alright. Okay. Hmm. There's guitars everywhere as well. This is the canteen, huh? If we need water, we come here to bathe. Everything's probably not working anyway. Fucking, this is so scary. Can we take a poo-poo? Nope, we don't need... We don't need that. We got a note here. I'm going to assume someone borrowed my hammer with the intention of returning it. Oh, I... I think I might have your hammer, my friend. Where in the bloody hell are we? Oh, goodness. My brain hurts. I think we just went one big round. So let's continue back this way first. Maybe we can get into the warden's office. 